Hey guys, in this video, we have some daily pay, no interview work from home jobs that also let you work whenever you want and make your own schedule. You don't really even have to have a schedule. In fact, you can basically just pop in and pop out on many of these types of jobs and get to work from home as well. So the first one is a company called Toloka, which is at toloka.ai. Now, if you look up Toloka reviews or something like that, you need to be careful make sure you're looking at the right one because Google has started doing this AI thing. I'm sure you've noticed in search results. And I noticed that the one they did for Toloka was actually the wrong Toloka it looked like. So toloka.ai is the actual website. Toloka.ai is a place where you can actually do this on your PC or on an app and you can get paid to do what is called microtasking. So this is a website where you don't need an interview. You can do this worldwide. They have daily pay options and you can use this on Apple or Android as well if you want. So if you wanted to look at the app, it looks something like this. It's 4.2 out of five stars. So it's got really good reviews and you'll have all sorts of different types of gigs that you can do and you can get paid via these options right here. So as far as a way to make some extra money, they do have a lot of downloads. A lot of people have tried them out. They have 327,000 reviews and 4.2 out of five stars. And this is a way to get started very quickly as well. It's free to sign up. They have training that basically help you get set up when you're about to do a task. So you don't have to have any past experience and you get to pick the task you want to do on your computer or the mobile app. So as far as actually reviewing the whole thing, I did actually kind of do a pro and con list of Toloka a while back and I wanted to kind of use that. I plan on doing some more of these here in the future and the Toloka review I had for this, some of the pros I liked about it, it's worldwide, it's no interview, highly rated, uh, training provided, low withdrawal requirement at only two cents. That's part of the reason you can actually withdraw on a daily basis is because all they go by is a withdrawal requirement. So many companies will either do a withdrawal re requirement or they'll do an actual schedule for pay. And they seem to go by the withdrawal requirement instead. They have a solid glass store rating at 4.1 out of five stars. You have a fast sign up process, no schedule requirements and many different types of tasks like classifying images, transcribing audio rec recordings, moderate comments, complete focus group surveys, and many other things. I did have three cons about them though. One is it's not many pay reviews. So if you're looking at reviews on Glassdoor or something like that, they don't have a lot yet. So it's hard to really draw a lot of conclusions of how consistent the pay is or how much you can really expect. Uh, probably not reliable for full-time pay as well would be a downside is obviously if you're looking for a job with no interview required, you're probably not expecting to make full-time income. It's just not usually feasible. It's usually more something you would do part-time. But another thing is the payout methods could be a little better. I would like to see them you know, support PayPal. They apparently used to, but no longer do for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. PayPal is very common, but they do have pay in ear. That's a pretty common one as well, but I'd still kind of like them to maybe adopt a few more payment options. But other than that, it seems to be pretty good. And as far as the actual reviews on Glassdoor, they have a 3.7 out of five star rating, 68% recommend working here to a friend. If you're looking at salaries for um, how much you could possibly make here, they do have a few, looks like they have what, six different ones on here for different things. Now, some of these might be more like in office jobs, but if you're looking at say, um, what you might actually do here as a, no interview job, you're gonna look more for something like a content reviewer, a search engine evaluator, or possibly a freelancer, which average, it looks like up to around 34 to maybe $47 an hour if you actually get on the high end. Next, we have a company called Agents Only. Agents Only is a place where you can actually do customer support work without an interview. So the nice thing about them is you can get, you can get a customer support job without going through the typical process that you normally would at a company. You get to work where you want, you get to work when you want, so you do get to make your own hours, work the projects that you want, earn more money faster, get paid daily, and belong to a community that cares. They actually tell you you get paid daily, so that's not something you know I'm just estimating or um, doing a guess on, but they do have a little bit of a caveat here. The thing is you have to get a referral to be considered to work here. Now, the nice thing about that um, is 
they have a list of places where you can get that referral. So you're not just left in the dark, you know, where you're having to figure out where to go get these referrals, which can be very difficult when you don't have these connections. But when it comes to getting a referral here, they have, you know, some Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube groups where you can actually go and get that. So hopefully that won't be too bad for most people um, because they actually provide you links to exactly where to go for these. But other than that, you know, you work when you want from anywhere, no interview, daily pay. And then as far as how much you can actually get paid, if you go to agents only, they have a 3.3 out of five star rating, 57% recommend working here to a friend. So pretty, pretty standard reviews. And then if you're looking at how much you might actually get paid on an hourly basis, we do have one person who said they averaged somewhere around $18 per hour. Another place where you can possibly get paid on a daily basis is Fiverr.com. And this can actually cover a very wide range of things that you can do because it's a freelance site. And it's actually one of the biggest free freelance sites in the world. I believe it's actually publicly traded now. Fiverr.com is a place where you can do pretty much any kind of freelance work that involves being at home or on a computer or something like that. So logo design, you see AI services, you see WordPress, website design, you see that just as a few of the popular topics on here. So for instance, if you clicked on like AI services, just as an example, you can see all sorts of different types of gigs on here. You can view experts. And normally when you actually like click on something, like let's say you go to AI artist to be more specific, you can go and see which types of people are on here and you can see which types of gigs they offer, what price point they start from, and you can look at their profile, you can look at their ratings and all of that. So this is kind of like a freelance storefront where basically you set up your little storefront and then people come to you, they see your prices and they pay you for a specific service that they want done. And typically it's a service that is done online. So Fiverr allows you to get paid to do just about anything as long as it can be done online. So if you have some sort of skills in graphic design or writing, editing, you know, video stuff, you have AI, coding, whatever it is, you can get paid to do these types of things at Fiverr. Now, if you click on one of these, you'll also see that they usually have three different packages that you would offer, like basic, standard, and premium. You, you'll see what kind of like what all is involved in that. Again, you're kind of making like a storefront for these types of gigs here. And then the more good reviews you get, you know, the more you get kind of uh, promoted up to the top of the listings and you can get more and more orders. Like you see this one has four orders in the queue. So you can also look at that like, you know, well, this person might have too many orders right now. Maybe I should go to uh, find somebody who doesn't have as big of a workload right now. So that's a new feature that they've added. So it's a really cool place where you can get paid on a daily basis. And when it comes to working here, usually you get paid within one to three business days via PayPal, the Fiverr revenue card, bank transfer, direct deposit, or your pay in your account. Now, as far as what it's like to work here at Fiverr, they have 3,000 reviews, 4.4 out of five stars, 85% recommend working here to a friend. So they have very good ratings as well. As far as what a freelancer can actually average at Fiverr, obviously it's gonna depend very much on the specific niche you are offering services in. But if you look at just the top result, an average freelancer could be somewhere in the ballpark of $38 an hour but some people have apparently reported as much as $52 per hour if you look at the full range. Another company to consider is Scribby. Scribby is a place where you can do very easy work. You're not gonna be on the phone. You don't have to really be a business owner like you are with Fiverr. And it's a place where you can get paid to do transcription work. Transcription work is very simple. You take an audio or video file and you type what's being said. If there are multiple speakers, sometimes you have to label the speakers if it's like an interview or something like that. They have many different types of transcriptions. Some pay more than others. For instance, if you were to do like a podcast episode or a video uh, for YouTube or something, that probably wouldn't pay as much as what would be like medical or legal transcription. So there's many different ways to go about this, but typically it doesn't require much except a certain word permit typing speed and good English grammar depending on the language you're doing it in. Some of them even have transcription in other languages. But Scribby is known for actually paying you very fast. 
and they have a five to twenty dollar per hour pay rate for audio hour not for hour of work but also they do 60 percent of the work for you by automating the transcripts and you are actually going to edit as you go so in really really instead of a transcriptionist you're more of a transcript editor it's a little bit different you're editing an automated service as you go with your grammar and everything and your understanding of the language so you would listen and this again is going to mostly be in english here at this particular website you will correct and apply context as you go and then you get paid via paypal they have average earnings listed here and as far as requirements they don't have much except English comprehension, able to understand conversations, ability to apply context and identify mistakes, verified PayPal account, obviously, so you can get paid, laptop or desktop computer and internet connection, as well as a headphone or headset. So other than that, the nice thing about them too is they have short files. You might wanna think about if you are someone who already has a full-time job or is going to school or whatever, you might want to sign up for a site that has short files like Scribby because the short files can be done much faster and you don't have to set aside a big block of time. You know, if you're coming home from work or something like that at you know, five or six o'clock PM, you may only have a few hours before you go to bed. If you wanna make a little extra money, you gotta consider how long it's gonna take you to make that extra money that night and to still be able to meet the deadlines. So for this, the files are usually only up to six minutes or so long. So they're pretty short files, which means you don't have to set aside hours and hours and hours of time in your already busy schedule to work here. So they also have no obligations, no monthly commitments, and no withdrawal limits. So that's why you can get paid so fast. As far as what it's like to work here, they have a 3.1 out of five star rating. And they did mention the per audio hour rate, but if you wanna look at the per hour rate in terms of just getting paid for your time, a transcriptionist can average around $27 per hour here. Some say as much as 38, according to these 12 people. Some people also have mentioned around 23 on average, 32 up to 44, according to this person. Um, but typically they, seem to have decent pay rates if you're going by what people say in these averages. Next, we have Clear Voice. Clear Voice is actually owned and operated by Fiverr, so you can guess that they also have fast pay rates as well. As far as what you're doing here, it's basically a writing freelance site. So if you have a bunch of, or if you have some good writing skills, at Clear Voice, you can get paid to work from home, you don't have to worry about an interview or any of that. You're a freelancer and you can do writing gigs based on your expertise. So with this, you do have to use kind of your expertise. You have to use your background. You're good. It's not really a great place to sign up if you have no experience at all. You have to have some skill to actually work here. Um, and they will you know, want examples or some sort of portfolio or something for you to prove that you have that skill because they have to be able to offer good services. But you have easy, quiet communication with an in-app messaging tool, just kind of like Fiverr. You have secure, better jobs where you will be matched with assignments um, based on your expertise and your pay rate. You also get to set your own pay rate as well. As you see over here, you decide your pay rate. So, I mean, we'll look at some averages here, but you actually can set whatever you think your time is worth and you build your brand. You actually can build your portfolio and strengthen that and get more experience while also getting paid very fast via PayPal. So as far as what it's like to work at Clear Voice, they have a 4.4 out of five star rating, 72% recommend working here to a friend. As far as how much people tend to get paid here on average, obviously these are from people that get to set their own pay rate. So it could vary, but if you're looking at freelance writing, you see a couple people here averaging 18 to 31 an hour with a middle of the pack average of 24. If you look at like a copywriter, kind of a different type of writer, it could be somewhere around 24 to 36 with an average of 29. So you're looking at probably in the mid 20s to mid 30s. This one, Freelance writer, online content writer, averaging 27 with a full range of 21 to 34. Next, we have a little bit 
of a different type of service. This is actually the only one on the list where you may have to leave the house a little bit, but for the most part, you get to work from home. So with poplin.co, you can actually get paid to do people's laundry for people. It's kind of like the Uber of laundry. So you essentially get paid to do people's laundry for them. And you do that part at home, of course, but once you actually um, do the work, you have to possibly deliver it to the customer. So you may have to pick up the laundry, you may have to deliver it, but other than that, you're working from home and they tell you that right here. Laundry pros typically can have a varied amount of money that they make. They have a certain minimum per order though, which is nice. And you do have some people earning up to around $6,000 a month. Obviously, that's the top end people though. You have the ability to sign up and learn very quickly. They have uh, these practice videos that show you like kind of on the side here, you see like an example of like, they'll show you how to properly fold and do everything as efficiently as possible. You accept the jobs that you want in your area and you pick up wander, return and repeat. So you see the top 10 earners average 5,800 a month. Top 100 average 2,500 a month. So you're looking at you know some decent pay potential, especially for something that you could do while the laundry is in the wash. You can go and do another side hustle or do another job. And as far as where it's available, they have it in 500 different cities across the US. As far as the sign up process, you do need to be 18 years of age or older, eligible to work in the US and have a method to pick up and deliver laundry, as well as you know, you're know you going to have to verify your identity in the US using your driver's license, uh, social security number and background check. Now, the hours are up to you. You are your own boss. You get to pick which assignments you accept. And then as far as the materials you get and what you are going to need, you need a smartphone, access to a washer or dryer, a mode of transportation and a few household items that include laundry detergent, clear bags, labels, and a simple bathroom scale, many of which you probably already have. Now, as far as pay goes, again, I've shown you kind of averages for the top 100, the top 10, but they also mentioned that the average per order is $40. Pretty good. And then there is a minimum per order for customers, so you'll always earn at least $15 plus tips for every single order. So. You're looking at some decent pay potential. They are also very well liked by people who have left reviews here. They have a 4.5 out of five star rating. 91% of people actually recommend working here to a friend. So when you think of some of these gig services, a lot of times they don't have the best reviews, but with this one, they really do. And if you're looking at what you could potentially average just as an average person here, instead of like being a top 100, a Sudster, which is the same thing as a laundry pro, has averaged up to around 46 an hour with a pretty middle of the pack average of $33 per hour, which is pretty good. Next, you have a company called Amazon Mechanical Turk. This is at mturk.com. This is a place where you can also do micro tasking work. So this is more simple. This is more kind of similar to something like uh, Toloka, which has micro tasking work of all sorts, but this in, in contrast is for Amazon. It's owned and operated by the Amazon and you can actually use your existing Amazon account to sign up here, which is kind of nice as well. So when you go to learn more at the top right there, you get to make money in your spare time and you get paid to basically do these types of tasks. So you have image and video processing jobs, you have data verification and cleanup jobs, information gathering jobs and data processing jobs. And they give you a few examples of each one here. But microtasking is usually a bunch of one-off jobs on some sort of page with listings. And you just do one job once and that's it. And then you go and find a different little gig. And the nice thing about this is, like I mentioned the example with Scribby earlier, if you don't have a lot of spare time after work and you wanna make some extra money, this can be a good thing to do just for a little bit of extra cash each day at home because you can just sign in, complete a little task, it might take you a few minutes to do it, and it can be done online and then you get paid. They also have the option of getting paid via Amazon gift cards, apparently, if you're into that kind of thing. Now, as far as how much an Amazon Mechanical Turk worker can average, I had to go based on the yearly amount, so they don't really have this, you know, the hourly rate that I've seen that often, but uh, Amazon just has so many reviews, it's kind of hard to sort through all of that, but as far as the rate in 
a year, if you were to work full time, you would average around 43,000 a year up to 52. So you're looking at probably around four, probably around 20 to $25 an hour um, at the most, but it's not the highest thing, highest paying job in the world, but you're working for Amazon. It's the, it's the Amazon everyone knows and loves. It's 3.7 out of five stars working there, although obviously that covers a very wide range of jobs. Um, that is kind of what you might expect here is maybe 20 to 25 an hour at the most. Next you have Shift Smart. Shift Smart is a place where you can find both in in person as well as online jobs without a typical interview. Now they have a few different things you can do here. Uh, you'll just have to kind of see what they have available. But if you look at Shift Smart and you look and see like you can, one, you can look at their app and see what's available in your area. So if you're okay with doing something like in person, you can look at the map that they have on their mobile app here, and you'll see which kind of shifts they have available in your area. They'll tell you how much they pay, what you're gonna do, like this one, you have like a PM shift at a warehouse or something like that. Or you might have something where you're mystery shopping, where you might take a few pictures of um, some parts of a store and answer a few questions about your experience with customer service there. And then you also have you know, a million plus downloads here, 3.9 out of five stars, so it's pretty well rated. And then you can also look at the other jobs they have available here. So if you're looking at you know, the shiftsmart.com page, if you look at the workers section, you'll see some of the featured work opportunities that you can do right now. So right now they have some store associate things available, retail auditor, those two I would think um, could be in person. A tech product tester may depend, but they have this in many different countries right now, but you would basically get paid to test a product. And then survey caller is something you can do at home. So if you wanted to work from home, you could get paid $10 an hour as a survey caller. And then if you wanted to say uh, test products, you could do that. They say you can earn $10, $50 as a tech product tester. I think that's per, per actual product that you test as well. So if you're looking for you know maybe just a little extra cash, you can do that. Or if you want to make a little bit extra per hour, you could be like a survey caller. And then they also have some in-person options as well. But you just download the app, submit your job or gig application, complete the onboarding process, choose your shifts, build your schedule, and get paid in days, not weeks. So they're supposed to pay you very fast as well. Now, as far as how much you can average just in general, I showed you that it can be as well as something like $10 an hour. But if you're looking at, you know, if you're looking for something along the lines of you have customer service, pretty, pretty close to what they say, survey caller, that's a political survey caller. I don't know if that's the same exact thing that they're mentioning. They have some other ones like merchandising and other things as well. Survey caller, there's one right there where it's pretty close to what they said. Independent contractor, apparently some people say you can earn up to $71 an hour as an independent contractor here. I don't know specifically what job that's for. That's the only problem with that is some, t some of these companies, they'll have reviews for people who are freelancers or independent contractors, which are the no interview jobs, but they don't mention the specific no interview job they did. So you don't really know which one would pay that much. But apparently there is some higher level stuff that you can do here that might pay more, maybe like product testing. But the problem with product testing, you might get paid $70 for an hour or $50 for an hour, but then that's the only one you have to test. So it's not a consistent hourly rate. That's kind of how some of these work sometimes. But as far as a place where you can make at least, you know, a little bit of extra money on the side, depending on how you want to do it, you have some options here at ShiftSmart. You also have a company called TriMata, which used to be Try My UI. This is a place where you can actually get paid to test websites. So you are doing this completely at home, online, of course, but you get paid to basically give user feedback on websites and let them know if you think the user friendliness is good or not point out maybe a few things you like or don't like about a website, and you're gonna help web developers and companies make better websites. So you can go to get paid to test at the top there, and they pay you five to $30 per test here. They usually pay you via PayPal, so make sure you have a verified PayPal account that works, and that's how you're going to be paid. Now, typically these types of tests, they don't really tell you exactly how long these take, but most companies that are similar to TriMata they take around 20 minutes. So I would say expect to make around five to $30 per 20 minutes. 
that's usually how long these tests take. There are some examples where it can take longer, like if you did like a live interview test um, where you're having to be on video or something like that. Um, and that can take a little bit longer maybe in some cases, but for the most part, there's a lot of these types of companies that are competing with Trimata and they usually take around 20 minutes on average. So here, as a tester, you are going to have a video recording of your screen and voice as you use a website or app and you your written responses will also be included to as kind of like a short wrap-up survey. So the types of tests you can do, there's no limit on the number of tests you can do, but expect to get a few each week. So that's good. I mean, that, that they tell you, you should expect a few each week. Some of them might not let you, um, they might not guarantee that. And then this is definitely not full-time work, so just keep in mind, this is for spare money. Send payments out every weekday morning through PayPal. They tell you that right there. Every weekday morning, you get paid. Now, as far as reviews, they still are called Try My UI on Glassdoor. They might have made a separate website, I don't know, or a separate Glassdoor page, but for whatever reason, they still have this one on here and they didn't change it, but they do have some reviews. They have a 3.3 out of five star rating so far. And obviously, we've already kind of been over the pay, but it's uh, five to $30 per test. Next, we have translate.com. Translate.com, as you can guess, is a translation site. So if you are multilingual, this is a place where you can get paid to make a little bit of extra money on the side. You can work any place, any time, right here. As you can see, they have everyday translations. You translate blog articles, social media posts, support tickets, and more. Notice how those are not on the phone. A lot of people think translation is all over the phone and really dread stuff like that. Apparently, you don't have to be on the phone for a lot of their work, which is nice. You can make good money. Translate.com offers competitive compensation paid by the word. There's no bidding for work either, so you're not having to constantly take less to get jobs. And they have easy cash out uh, processes with things like PayPal, Wise, Revolut, Payoneer, and many other options as well. So you can also change your roles. You can become a translator or an editor. Certified translators do typically earn more though. So you basically create an account for free. You attach any certificates and wait for verification. You set up your account. They have a few little exams or language pairs that'll basically help make sure that you are doing the right language and you know what you're doing. So that just allows them to offer good quality work, which is how they keep this business going. You translate or edit text. They tell you this again right here. You're only doing text. That's the nice thing about this site compared to other possible translation sites you might have to do. And then you get paid, you receive your funds once they exceed $20 to your payment system. So you're looking at some some work that could be pretty easy and the sign up process shouldn't be too bad either. They have the most in, in demand language pairs on here as well. So you see the ones in the green are the most in demand, like English to Finnish apparently is very in demand as well as English to Swedish and Norwegian. And then you have some other ones um, down here as well. But if you're looking for just some extra work and you're multilingual, you might consider translate.com. Salary wise, they have some listings here. They have some reviews, not a lot, but they do have some. They have two right here for translation. That's about $33 an hour, 25 to 47 would be the full range. You have two more on here that are actually very similar. So I would say these seem to be fairly accurate, 24 to 44 with an average of 32. And then one person claimed that they averaged 23, another one claimed they averaged 30. So it looks like you're mostly in the 20s to 30s with a possibility of you know, inching your way into the 40s in some cases, especially if you can go after the most in-demand language pairs. So hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more daily work from home opportunities like these. And if you thought this was a helpful video, please let me know by clicking the like button. It helps me know what you actually think uh, you want me to cover. And also, you can leave me a comment, ask me a question, suggest something for future videos that you would like me to go over, and I'll see you in the next video.